Hi guys, you're watching this Drop TV and this is the Breakfast Club. My name is Ureti. We have Tech from Shodem Camp, our co-host. Kid Connect couldn't be here today, but he's ably represented by Alexander Bauer, the Playboy billionaire. Turn up for baby Jesus. <laughs> billionaire in Zimbabwe. Our guest today is very special, uh, not really because she's the first of her kind. She's an actress, but she's also uh, done things in different sectors of entertainment, and she is also a philanthropist. She's also very, very beautiful. Please welcome Mona Lisa Chinda. <laughs> So I know that you, you have your show called You and I with Mona Lisa. So you've done this, what I'm doing. Yes. Does it get easier? Well, you just get used to it after a while. Oh. Yeah, but then you've been, you've been in front of cameras anyway. So it's, was it that hard transiting from acting to being no, a talk show? No, not at all. Simply because it's not a money. It's not about wanting to set up something just to, for the fun of it. It's a passion. Okay. So. so being a, a media personality now, would you say that you empathize with the media more. You know, when you're an actress, or being an actress, you it's like being on one side, you read all these things said about you, you can't understand why certain things happen. Do you feel like you understand what it's like to be in the media now? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm indifferent, really. It doesn't make any difference to me, whether I'm a TV personality or I'm an actor or... It just doesn't make any difference. It's, it's just work and... It's your job as a journalist. You report as long as it's constructive as an actor. You act and be beautiful on a red carpet as long as you don't go overboard. So, yeah, we all like the being beautiful on the red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, what's the one thing that you, is, you would say is the major difference between being a talk show host and actor? Yes, because being a talk show host, and especially if it is what you're not being uh, a presenter for someone. You're doing this for you, yourself, yourself and for people to, um, for people out there as well. Uh, it's challenging because you don't own a TV station. You have to take your content to look for how you can showcase what you've got, your product. So that on its own is a challenge or you know ramification. But being an actor, you know, you're being contracted to do a movie. So you just go do, do your scripting, read your roles, get into character, and you just go out and just show, do what you know how to do best, and you're being paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a different, a total, it's a different ball game. So yes, the show is meant to um, unravel the issues, social issues, prefer solution using the tool of drama not forgetting the fact that I'm an actor mm -hmm. I'm an actor so using the drama to illustrate the ills of the society and it's targeted at the young people and young people are restless mm -hmm. they would not want to sit down and just watch people just talk about the same thing they see every day mm -hmm. do something different mm -hmm get them engaged in whatever thing you're doing. Just like what you're doing here. I just love everything about this place. You know, so that it's I know you have also have your target the young mm -hmm. people. You must do something that's jazzy yeah. and fun. Yeah. So that they don't get bored. Even the churches today are also incorporating that in their very conservative. Their yeah. Thank you. So everything is changed has changed. Um, I hope I'm still on the question you asked. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so that's yeah. it. Okay. okay, guys, we are still talking to Mona Lisa. The point is just getting started. We have lots of um, young people attracting content coming up <laughs> after this break. Not only young people, no! <laughs> Okay, guys, we're back, and I will be starting off this with Wacky News segment. It shows us no matter how weird you think that you are, there's someone out there who's more weird. So, first up, Kim Kardashian is eating her own placenta to avoid postpartum depression. To avoid what? Postpartum depression. Now, lots of women, when they get, not some women, after they give birth, they fall into depression. Some of them, even, it's, it sometimes it gets to such extremities that they kill the child or kill themselves. They ki Yes, so in order to <laughs> avoid that, that's the <laughs> placenta. avoid that, she's had her plas uh, the placenta dried and then she's taking it as pills. She says that she feels like 
re-ingesting her own hormones are they are the best way to to avoid it. I mean, I mean some, some cultures in Africa used to practice that. So. No. Practice where? what? Eating placenta. I've no. never heard of that. You've before. never heard of where? that? Where? 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 In Namibia, where? actually. Oh, oh, in Nam Namibia? Yeah. I've never heard of that. Is that what you're from? No, no. I've never heard of that before. But I mean... It's the placenta. Yes. I'm telling you. So people used to do it. No. Because dogs used to do it. So they they, uh, they dogs. Used to yeah. dogs. The, 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 the tribe the tribe in question they worship dogs. In Namibia. That in Namibia, yeah. Small. And I feel that in America, a lot of people, if you tell them anything, if you tell them that maybe after they should eat their hair, they may they believe eat it. Yeah, I so think eat uh, some hair. people wrote about it so I can do it and start eating my hair. Like I think exactly. it's whatever you just tell them. I don't really think it actually it can be proven that eating the placenta will make you less depressed. Okay, but if it was proven, you'd be okay. Um, <laughs> no, I, feel, I feel like everything is perception. I mean, because that's what he that's perception. what he told her. He told yeah. her that look, yeah. this is gonna work. Is that what he like, told okay, her? Cool. Or was that what she wanted to do? Herself? Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. The doctor. So she she feels it's going to work. So it is going to work for her. I mean. I think like I feel like it's coming to light now because she's a celebrity, but there are other people who have done it. I've and never. Heard she's of not the first person to have tried it. I've read about this before. Is it your it? placenta? Yeah. Wow. But not in Nigeria, sure. Not in Nigeria. No, 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 no. Church I heard first. That you make. <laughs> <laughs> first, you just need to your placenta. But well, there's nothing wrong with that. But it's just wait. I but, just can't but I just it. remembered in Nigeria, there's this treatment that you use placenta, right? To to yeah. Yeah. Yes. Is that human That's placenta? When, I just thought of it. Yes, it's, I think when they circumcise the, the, a baby boy, mm -hmm. is that what it is? Yeah, there's some, that injection use, thing that they, they put on your hair. Like, oh, 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 there's I'm, a hair treatment. <laughs> You're talking about something entirely different. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a hair treatment in which they use, but I don't know, man. Moving on. Didn't you find yourself needing to do more publicity? For what? For, for your show, for example. Oh, show is fine. Not my personal life. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Sometimes, some people have, like, they, you have, they have to use controversial things like that to feed and, but that's because they don't have anything Enough else content, content yeah. wise to push if you had like if you had maybe had a show and had a cd and had a concert and all of that then that's already material i'm pushing but it's when i don't have that that i now start saying okay i'm dating this person <laughs> yeah. you are so oh, you're so silly oh, oh. <laughs> i don't know if you guys are going to cut this out or oh, i died the guy that said he died for publicity yeah, yeah. oh is it did you is it it was, was all a joke or yeah, what? Yeah, was a, he wasn't was dead. Stunt. Like, there was this whole thing. I remember that morning. It was just Are you sure? Or people just mm -hmm. broadcast? No, broadcast he's alive. Yeah. Broadcast the yeah. message. He was, I think it was on Lee Dekker Joe. At least it was, was on, the, on the blog. He died for some time. Oh, come on. What I heard, no. The one I heard was that there was miscommunication and, Perhaps and the manager wasn't around, so the person that put it out. But sometimes it's like things like that, they do help. Don't you say? Did they help him? <laughs> I haven't heard any song. That's the I know the name Skibby. I haven't heard anything that he sang, but I know the name. So I don't. I think like a step I just heard somebody so Maybe next. Up, you say he resurrected and I mean, no one song. So you know, there'll be a track. Mm. A soundtrack for the resurrection. So like, what's the name of the album? Is I have no idea. I don't think. I, don't think I didn't know his name was Skibby. I don't Skibi. think the guy is looking it well. If it was in America, they would have released I Die t shirt, <laughs> CD. Most definitely, man. Remix. I woke up again, you know, like... Dude, I just even <laughs> looked one... Day, like, dude, I just looked one big verse called the track Life After Death. Yeah, you know, yeah, man. Yeah. It's a bit too epic. Yeah. No, no, that guy is not making the real coin. No, That's Interesting. I, I, like, I like the fact that he died and he woke up. Yeah. And it's not the churches are not announcing. They're not saying. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think. I really like what happens when you die, though. I really like to that Did you see any? Did you see... I don't even know. Beautiful the, garden. Of I remember there were pictures. There were people saying, "Oh my God, I still spoke to you yesterday." And you know, this this is another thing that annoys me. When something happens to somebody, everybody, other people too, try to attain fame by expressing their relation to the person. Oh, I still spoke to you yesterday. Oh, I still this thing. I remember when I saw you from ten miles away at Shoprite, but I saw you. So it's so sad that you are gone. That pisses me off. <laughs> Maybe that's the that's the way to show the probably very uh, very the at emotional that point, about yeah, that at that point, point so you really mean, cannot yeah, say yeah. You know, nothing should piss you off at that yeah, point yeah. <laughs> honestly speaking because yeah, I mean I believe really, really, so I think that as well um, here we also have a culture where the first place you go to is Instagram or yeah Twitter or, exactly uh, exactly I know someone who is she's genuinely upset like someone died and she was sending me a crying smiley how can I take you seriously.
What do you mean? There are people that do not, if something really bad happened, like someone you know had an accident or something, and you're telling someone, would you be in the place of mind to insert a smiley? What kind of smiley? A crying smiley. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. There's something wrong I with feel like, smiley. I feel like, it's, like it's, no, not that she should have called me. It just, she already sends it. Smiley's are for casual conversation. I feel like it just really is like, it's so yeah. serious. Yeah. Yeah. Because, for example, yeah. when jollof rice yeah. finishes, I use that smiley. So is that the same smiley that I will use <laughs> when something oh bad? Oh God! I've only seen one from this set. <laughs> when your love life finishes, you use this. Oh my exactly. God! Exactly. <laughs> so how do I? <laughs> okay, okay. You're so funny. I mean, I understand where you're coming from. I think I get. I understand where you're coming from. But at the same time, some people use <laughs> smileys to express yeah, their exactly. feelings yeah. or their emotions at the time. Yeah. I just you feel know? like so someone could be feeling really yeah. like um, genuinely feeling like crying at the time and sends you yeah. a crying smiley that's just a representation like, of you know how you feel like my mom she just started using whatsapp like last year so i think yeah, she just oh, i can't imagine no no don't worry don't go there just leave it alone okay. oh, my yeah. mother got on bp hey she's a ping pong pong ping pong pong i'm like is that the only thing you know how to do <laughs> chats exactly. just chats exactly yeah. you know, no, I can't, I can't Actually, now she just uses LOL. She doesn't know. She just uses LOL. <laughs> 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 Anyhow, like punctuation. LOL. <laughs> 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 oh my God, amazing, amazing. Do you read um, stories about yourself? I hardly do, but I've got my family, my friends, my brand manager, my PR p uh, persons telling me, you're here, and they're saying, it's <laughs> not <laughs> about you. But when it's not a good one, they don't tell me. Oh, okay. So I should I'm probably not tell you this one. Why? Tell me. Okay, this is from Vanguard. I've been waiting to say. Uh, <laughs> is it bad? <laughs> no, it's not actually. But the the headings. You know how they do these things that they they. May pick on bit of yeah, the this, they sensationalize the mm. captions. So this one says, "I regret being a divorcee." And I never I said, said she, that. She you see, that's the thing. Yeah, and it, it was I funny to me. It was funny to me because I'd read somewhere that you said you'd rather be like safe with your child and have your child grow up than being a yes I never so when I said that read, I, 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 read I, must have said, I must have said marriage usually is the best option mm. I, I, I can I can never say I regret being a divorce mm. Mm. I regret being a divorcee oh. and then there was another one I remember that one made headlines as well mm -hmm. I am made to be under a man well I didn't say that in that context I said it that I would love to be under. Yeah, people kept talking about under. You would like to be oppressed and depressed and whatever under a man. Mm -hmm. They said all kinds of negative things. Mm -hmm. I meant I like to be. Uh, uh, did I say I like to be with a man or under? I don't, I don't remember. But that, in that context, meant that I'd rather be with a man. I like to be married. I like to secure. Yes, yeah, secu yeah, that's what I meant. Mm -hmm. So, but you know how they just coin yeah. things out and yeah, yeah. make a. So you don't have any regrets. No, I don't I have any regrets. Hello. <laughs> I think women in Nigeria are giving a lot of unnecessary pressure. I remember once my cousin, my auntie was talking to her and she said, this guy, he hasn't said, Mar asked it for marriage yet. That is because they are too argumentative. And for now, I'll just be saying yes to everything he says. <laughs> no. And then when you it marry, must be yourself. you can show him the real side. No. And See, I that's the worst. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You my God. No, real, you're real. <laughs> that's evil. Yeah, it is evil. Because, no. as, as, because the thing is that in the end, you're going to suppress But let me tell you guys something. Mm -hmm. A cry of a baby in a home kind of changes everything. Yes. But whereby those changes are not, I mean, the couples are still at loggerheads at, at mm -hmm. each other. Mm -hmm. Things are not working well. Mm -hmm. Finances are down. Mm -hmm. The man is hitting the woman. The woman is cheating. Mm -hmm. Walk away. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't yeah. make any sense. Yeah, really? Okay, let me, let me paint this scenario. With the child. No, with the children. <laughs> let me paint this scenario. If, for example, I was having an argument. Okay, actually, I will still paint you this scenario, but it has to be right after this break. This is still the breakfast book. We'll be right back. Hi guys, we're still turning up for baby Jesus and we're back from our little break. Eriti, back to you. <laughs> um, thank you, Alexander Bauer. No, yeah, so this is a scenario I was going to paint. If, for example, a husband and wife are having an argument and the wife slaps the husband, do you feel that the husband has a right to slap her? 
No. Is there any, are there any circumstances under which you think it is okay for a man to raise his hand against a woman? <clears throat> No. Naturally, men are wired to be, <coughs> to be, they're wired to be, you know, violent. So you don't, you don't provoke, you don't provoke that. That's, it's a natural thing. Why are the men looking at me very, they're wired to be like that. No, they're wired, the natural, it's in the nature. But okay. the woman should not bring that because everybody's got their demons just struggling with. Yeah. So don't bring out that animal. So, so the question that I'll ask to follow up so let's say now in front of his business partners, friends, everything, the woman comes and wires him to her slaps. <laughs> now, like obviously in that situation he may not respond because everybody is there. Mm -hmm. But the Annoyance, embarrassment, frustration, yes, all of that. So if you beat if you beat the woman there to you know to, yes, exactly, it would make no difference. Hmm. That's the end of your business meeting and probably they're wiring one billion into your account and yeah. that would be the end. You just what makes the man very strong is to be hmm. able to ignore hmm. and look at her like a child and hmm. treat her hmm. like a child. Because me personally I would say that <coughs> if a woman should slap me twice. Why twice? Why? Oh, let's say, let's why say once. Why let's, like she let's say does, once. She no, because let's say the first one. Let's say I've chopped. No, you chopped. She wants to be equal, so she slaps the left and then No, no, no. You know you chop the first slap and you say, ah, you slap me and she slaps me. To now re-emphasize. Me personally, I will not touch her, but I can say that our relationship from that moment yes, as the first plus, first slap connects is done. It's totally wrong. Like, and it can never, there's no amount of... No rectification. Woman do that now. Yeah. It's not in your place to raise your hands to mm -hmm. slap a man that God has placed above you. It's mm. ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so you experienced this in your marriage? Physical abuse? <laughs> yes, I don't want to talk about it. But did you? Yes, I did. Okay, so no, the reason why I'm asking this is so that when I ask these questions, people know that you're not just saying it because people say that you're coming from a place of experience is why I'm asking this. Do you feel that, for example, a woman should leave a marriage the f very first time that a hand is raised upon uh, against her? If, even if he begs and says, oh, I'm, I will never do it again, blah, 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 blah. No, she shouldn't, but she should. There should, uh, there should be uh, some kind of... Um, Where's the line? I don't. I wouldn't advise a woman to leave, for the, but she would know that there's already violence already mm. registered in the marriage mm. already. So, if it's something that regrettably the man regrets doing, and they need to talk about it, they need to go and see a count, seek counsel, so that that do not happen again. Now, why would the woman man raise his hands to beat his wife mm. when he's never done it? Mm. Did the woman provoke him? But that should not be an excuse anyway. So I'm just saying, I'm just trying to strike the balance yeah, here. Yeah. So that I don't... Because <laughs> I saw like recently, um, I'm not going to mention names, but I saw like um, there was a popular artist recently where his, um, his wife left and she said... Oh, yeah. Yeah. His wife what? left and said that like, you know, there was a history of violence within the yeah, relationship. Yeah, there's a history of violence. You have and to. But even, even before they married, yeah, the has, previous, yeah, his ex-girlfriend pre had come out to say this, that he was oh, wow. physically abusive. Mm. Oh, wow. And I, I'm, I don't quite remember, but I think there was even a tiff between both of them, between the wife and the ex-girlfriend. And she was yeah. saying, oh, no, leave my husband alone, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And then now, apparently, he's been using her for boxing yeah. practice. No, the thing sure. is that with, with regards to, I can understand on the level of the ex the wife to the ex-girlfriend because you know you like she said there has to be a balance you don't know the context within yeah, which him and the ex-girlfriend yeah. had their altercation in the past so the wife so coming in and not having seen violence will feel to defend her husband and talk to the ex-girlfriend that's normal you know and i don't think and i think each situation happens in isolation but once you see that there's a recurring because even now to a certain extent like you know you don't necessarily know that the guy did it that's the truth. It's still word after two, word word. after two people have said it, we don't necessarily. So do you feel like do you feel like I was in there? Do you feel like the main efforts from the man trying to um, say rectify the situation, say like going to seek counseling, for instance, is 
is something that will not make you leave a, a marriage. No, if the man regrets doing that, mm. yes, give him another chance. Yeah, but you know, we have instances where you have someone who's making an effort, you know, going for counseling over and over and mm. still repeating then, the same. Yeah, then, well, the the, yes, yeah. then, yeah. hell, that, uh, it's not uh, totally unacceptable. Yeah. The woman would have to look for a means, uh, a way out of, maybe just you, separate for a while. Yeah. And uh, if Do you feel that, like, um, the because I have a, my issue with counseling in Nigeria, <laughs> I would say is that you know, and I say this with all due respect. So like I feel that a lot of counseling comes from a religious yeah. aspect. That's number one, yeah. and then number two is that like you know I've been in situations where maybe like the wife reports the husband to the pastor that he's been cheating numerous times, and the pastor's response is like you know you need to be a forgiving Christian. You need to you know be the you know so like the advice will always come because from the from a religious angle is always to forgive mm -hmm. to love violence should yeah. not be and accepted and condoned mm. in, in, in any union mm. Mm -hmm. i'm telling you mm. there will be some kind of somebody would just have to lose a limb or go blind or something you don't want that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly you so it shouldn't be accepted <coughs> First of all, I should say that I applaud your decision to say enough is enough. And I know that you're from a royal family, as you said, it made it a bit more difficult because there's lots of people who look up to you. That's you're the right. first, yeah. first child. Now, would you say that more resistance came from your family or from church? Resistance? Like, to... they were... Do you, did you get immediate support once you decided that you wanted to leave or...? Of course. I mean, my family supported me. And remember, when the violence started, I didn't let, get anybody involved. Mm. I wanted to sort it out myself. Mm. So, but when it continued for years, I had to mm -hmm. get my family. I mean, I had to let my family mm -hmm. know that this is a decision I want to take. I want to leave. Mm. They're asking why. And I said, this is this and this and this has happened mm -hmm. in the past. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, okay, mm. you have to leave. Mm. So, what would, so what, what would your advice be to women who feel maybe they don't have the strength to leave or even like in a lot of situations where you know in Nigeria you still have people who stop their wives from working so there's a dependency yeah. financially already um, there's, yeah, yeah. And there's nowhere to go to you yeah, know someone yeah. who literally she has nowhere to go to she has four children mm. and this man is the one bringing all the money mm. so, so she rather go? stay there and die. for the sake of her children mm. she's willing to take that beating mm. just so that she's like okay let me let them just make it up to to you see, and then I can be free. Women mm. should learn to empower themselves, mm. whether they're in an abusive relationship or not. Mm. They should learn to empower themselves. In a situation mm. like that, I mean, I mean, no offense, but it's, it's just a case where she doesn't have the, the spirit to, you know, be independent. Because like if you do have the spirit to be independent, there's nobody that can put you down. But, no, but there are men that will say that from the start. Men that will say from the start. If you, if you have the spirit to be to independent, work. regard I mean like financially independent, you know, and you don't but want the a situation where, to be caged. I think there is a thing where I think I think if she's she's been in in a situation for let's say like five six years yeah and you've already made a decision not to work which is why I, I believe she has to be independent regardless yeah. from day she one to be. right she now we can't be in that situation where your husband tells you don't work and you know because and you, yeah, you also and you have to look at it that in as much as we love each other now there could be i'm not praying that it would be but there could be a break somewhere down the line and you don't want to be dependent on that person i don't let's to, not focus on violence mm, alone mm. there are other abuse mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Recorded yeah. in homes. Yeah. Emotional abuse. Mm -hmm. Verbal abuse. Mm -hmm. You hear someone telling you that you're you're what nothing often enough that you're you like start a to cold be rice. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a cold rice. Wow. Cold rice. <laughs> so Hand imagine milk. eating a cold rice. Mm -hmm. Cold rice. And then you look at your wife mm. and you tell her how ugly she is. Mm. Mm. You know, those are emotional and verbal abuse. Mm. That is even worse mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you ask me. Mm. I can't deal with that at mm. all. Mm. I can't deal. Why would you look at me and tell me I'm ugly? Mm. Why would you tell me that I taste like cold rice? Mm. Well, I'm going to show you. Mm. By the time How I'm cold done. this rice mm. really yes, is. I will show Nigga. you. <laughs> <laughs> so, then, so that's it. <laughs> do you feel sometimes that like your, your um, drive to continue to break boundaries and continue to move forward create your own show do all these things do you feel that 
somewhere like the the motivation from yeah. that comes yes, from it's the push women mm. let me let me let me give you an example women who have been uh, raped by probably a family member mm. and all of that half the time when they grow up mm. either they there are two things that mm. will affect you either you're down there mm. grounded mm-hmm. bottomless pit mm. Literally, mm-hmm. or you're doing something to empower other women and mm. empower yourself. Mm-hmm. There are two ways to it. Yeah. So you would cho- better not choose the better one, mm. rather than just stay down there and mm-hmm. you know feel so sorry for yourself. Mm-hmm. That is not where God wants you to be. Yeah. At every point in time, when you feel that somebody is challenging your, you know, your status, to some somebody's challenging your ability to work, mm. you tell them that listen. You're not my creator. Mm-hmm. I can do better than how you perceive me. I mean, mm-hmm. better than what you think. Yeah, I am. Yeah. So you just must you must move on. Mm. Get up and go. Mm. Get up, and move. Mm. And that's not like what young people are doing. Mm. They're not waiting for the government. Mm-hmm. They're not waiting for their parents. Mm-hmm. They're doing stuff. Mm-hmm. They're doing. You know what I mean? Yeah, they look yeah, for yeah. every means to get themselves engaged, mm. empowered. Mm-hmm. Just get up up there. And Move. Yeah. That's, I, that's what I, I saw a quote like. today from him. He said, "A successful woman is the woman that can use the bricks that are thrown at her to build a house." That's right. Yeah, and that's I think right. that's yeah. That's the word. Yeah. That's the word. Okay, I, I like about. this. I like how this interview is going so far yeah. because it just occurred to me that we haven't mentioned anything about Nollywood, <laughs> and that's nice. <laughs> 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 because having someone who's a Nollywood star, people are expecting. But then again, it's the breakfast club, so you already know. Um, <laughs> the new crop of actors now. Who are you? Give me your five favorites. New crop of actors? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I am just going to embarrass myself. She didn't <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know, God. I'm so sorry. Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't even watch the films anymore. Do you God. feel like you have to compete? Do you feel like you're competing with the younger generation? No, not at all. I know. I don't think we will have been there. We've already gotten to another, the way, to another yeah. level who paved the way mm-hmm. we should be in competition with the young people come mm-hmm. on. Well when their age and doing stuff they're doing now, nobody was telling mm-hmm. us not to. Mm-hmm. So who are these five? I don't know them. Okay. Wow. O C O K J. Yeah. Yes, okay. he's good. Yes. Yeah. Um O C uh there's this other guy. What was his name? I don't know who that is. Blossom, thank Blossom, you. No oh, I just love that guy's <laughs> deliveries. I love him. Mm-hmm. And then uh, who else? Any f- female? Female? Um, oh, I don't know any female. You remember mm. only the men. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> 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 yeah. So. Okay. So is it as hard as people say to be an actress in Hollywood? Did you ever get, for example, did any director ever make advances to you and say, "Oh, come mm. to my hotel room and get the no, part"? No. I'm a product of, of already, uh, they know me as a theatre artist. I read theatre as at the okay. University of Port Harcourt. So I already, I already had my guns. I already had my, <laughs> I was like, quick with everything. So like, look at me and be like, oh, this one is too much. So let her just step aside. Let, let's, you know, deal with, with girls or young ones who do not know where they're headed. So they couldn't try it. What was the last great... Hollywood movie that you saw, like you thought, like wow, this is really stepped up. The game has really stepped that up. That will be. Well, that's one I've seen so far. Mm. Please, I have not seen other ones. <laughs> that will be <laughs> October first. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That will be October first. Yeah. I haven't seen other yeah. movies yet. Yeah. I was just no time. Yes. I really, this is such a shame. So, are you? It's like you. It seems like you're gradually leaving acting. <laughs> well. I'm not, well, because I have other things I'm doing, yes, and uh, the movies are not coming like how it used to come, I mean, how it used to before, so now I'm more selective, and again, my show is taking my whole time. Do you miss it? Acting? Do I miss it? I'm still acting. Even in my show, I still, I'm still acting. No, I don't miss it. <laughs> what would it take? What would it take? Like what? What would you need to see? Whether in the script or the caliber of the director or the yeah. budget or the film to like get you yeah. to get you to like do a movie, movie roles, yeah. tomorrow now? Like what would what would need to wow you and amaze you to get you to say, okay, I'll sign my name with this the project. script. The script. Okay. The script. Yeah, and the people I will be working with. Mm, you're this. very picky. Mm. Yes. Is that the Virgo side in you? Oh 
you know Virgo. Well, you're uh, September uh, 14th, right? 13th. Yeah. 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 Virgos, yeah. A Virgo birthday boy beat on you, everybody. He hold does on. what? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, September 13th. That's Virgos. Virgos are very, very picky. Mm. Yeah. 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 I know that mm. for a fact. <laughs> I'm very true to their words, though. True say, true say, true say. That's what oh, it says. Oh, right. <laughs> we will be taking our final break, and when we come back, Mona Lisa will be telling us more about the You and I show. Yeah. Hi, guys. It's still the Breakfast Club. My name is Rachel. We have Alexander Bauer in the house. Mr. Tech, the rapper, and Melissa Chinda, who's proven to us that she has a lot more dimensions to herself than being an actress. She is the host of a show called You and I with Monalisa, on which she tackles lots of important issues. It's showing on DSTV channel uh, 253 AIT, in, you know, to be precise. Yeah, so you should watch. Now tell me more about the show. Why, um, why do you feel like, what do you feel that you bring that's different to every other talk show that is out there? Drama. Okay. Drama. Dr drama is a segment, uh, four minute segment to illustrate every topic that will be treated. Mm -hmm. Topics are very crucial. Mm -hmm. And our guests treating these topics are also very uh, crucial as well. So we also get people who, if we're talking, for instance, about rape, who have uh, a specialist. We usually have bring on board a specialist who would prefer solution mm. to these um, um, topics will be treated. And also, there's a segment we also call Candid Lens, uh, things that are our own take on pop culture, mm. things that are trending, like mm. I love his heart, we could mm. be talking about this, <laughs> why this mm -hmm. combo and mm -hmm. stuff like that, weird things <laughs> happening around the world, yeah. things that are probably spot on happenings there there yeah. uh, you know there and then we kind of capture it with a camera and that's another segment um of course and there's this intimate conversation with the audience mm. with our guests so that's what's different about okay um how do people if people want to be part of the audience what do they need to do how do you mm. select yes nothing we just have uh, we like to have very good looking people even though audience has always been a huge challenge yes it's been so people like him should be on the show oh i would love him to be on the show <laughs> i will give him questions i'll give him questions to ask to ask so that to, i mean everybody will see that you know very handsome dude is on board mm -hmm. you know, I'll raise my, my hand yes. like, <laughs> so that's just that's that's it Okay, um, how many seasons of the show do you plan to film? Do you have a, is there an end in sight or for as long as you For as like long as, for as long as the sponsors keep coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel like, hey yeah. God, <laughs> <laughs> the show, eh? <laughs> but I am not going to complain. God mm. has been so kind. Mm. I mean, for the fact that it's actually airing, is it has been a 10 year plan mm. and now it has come into fruition. I can only give God the praise, so I don't have to complain. The sponsors will come. Mm -hmm. They will. You've been working come. on it for 10 years. Yes. And yes. now the funding is coming from only you. Yes, me. Wow. Me alone. Wow. Mm -hmm. I hope yeah. get the sponsors. It but will I think get like the sponsors. It's something as well that, I don't know, I'm sure you might have considered it already. I think like because your, your topics are... Um, very specific. Yeah, specific topics, I think that yeah. there should also there are also like a lot of organizations out there, um, whether international or local, that will be looking to like partner with or maybe put some kind of yeah. you know um, backing. yeah backing towards it mm -hmm. because I don't think there's that many shows. I might be wrong, but that um, help discuss issues like this. Yes, know? people tend to shy away. Really, mm, you know, Nigeria. Okay. We're still we're still trying to come to terms with the with the you know disturbing things happening around mm. us they would rather just sweep it under the carpet mm. rather than come out to discuss it even mm. victims mm. don't want to show their faces which mm. i totally respect i understand mm. but we will talk about it mm -hmm. we would take action mm -hmm. we would for instance unemployment mm. transportation mm. the youth mm -hmm. mm -hmm. very serious issue mm -hmm. they are serious yeah. issues yeah so, yeah. yeah. Do you feel like you're going to run out of topics? 
topic in Nigeria. In Nigeria. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> like every day. Yeah. 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 Never. I love this country. Yeah. Yeah. Too much. Yeah. <laughs> I run out of top. I mean, run out of topics from probably the uh, urban areas. I mm. go to the rural areas. I get mm. <laughs> fresh. Have you ever had um, sure guests to decline to come on the show because they feel like what is being discussed is maybe too sensitive? Never had. Not yet, I haven't gotten there yet, but mm. I don't think I would have any topic that anybody would not want to come and talk about or mm. discuss to prefer solution. The world, I mean, Nigeria has come to that stage where everybody, the, the people are beginning, they're getting tired of this mm. present situation. Mm. Mm. They're getting fed up. Mm. So wherever they want to unleash. Yeah, mm -hmm. they want their voices <laughs> to be heard. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, so I've provided a platform for them. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's open. Yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely be checking out the show. No? Please do. Yeah, yeah, it's air still lending your voice. Yes, lending your voice. Would the, you like to? Uh, yeah, I'll come on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you show you good looking. I love your tattoo. We had the topic on tattoo or something, okay. but it was yeah. very, very. Whoa, whoa, what was said in that show? That they are irresponsible <laughs> children. <laughs> 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 okay, so, is there anything yeah. else that you feel that people should know about the show? Just watch it. 10 p.m. AIT every Sunday. Mm. Sunday. We do lo lots of giveaways though. Ah. If we don't give on the set, we give on the on where social media. Mm. Okay. All right. So where can they follow you? At Mona Lisa Code uh, Code uh, for Twitter and Instagram. The U N I T V Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What would you like to say to your fans? And even any any upcoming anybody that is starting a similar journey yeah. as you've done, whether through acting or entertainment or music or a female or even a male, that, that, yeah. And she'll be trying to follow you. Entertainment is tough. The mm. industry is very mean. Mm. So you must make sure you're well equipped and be true to yourself. Make sure your craft must be original mm. and do something different. Don't do the same thing other people are doing. Mm. You know, stand out all the time and be very dedicated. Okay, guys, this has been the Breakfast Club. My name is Iriti. We've had Alexander Bauer in the house. We've got tech. And our guest today, Mona Lisa Chinda, who has been lots of fun to talk to. You can watch her show, You and I, with Mona Lisa. It shows on AIT at 10 p.m. Yes. yes. On Sundays. Sunday, yeah. uh, if you want to be part of the audience, if you want to... Uh, her to talk about any issues you can also tweet at her at monalisa code and you can follow us disrupt tv on instagram at and twitter at disrupt underscore tv the disrupt breakfast club is also on instagram at breakfast club ng until we come your way uh next time merry christmas be good merry christmas, merry christmas for baby jesus <laughs>